Last year, man, I thought this was really interesting, and I really wanted to ask you this: is like, you watch Brady for years, like, yep. I would marvel watching him in practice. Honestly, I would marvel watching Gronk more. I remember getting there and being like, "Damn, I know Brady's the goat, but Gronk might be the best football player I've ever seen." Like, it's yeah. just insane to watch. But watching Brady is like watching like a genius at work, and I, I just wonder. When you guys were prepping for them last year, week four or five or whatever it was in the rain, uh, and you guys yep. hosted them and it was a really good football game, I think most people were surprised that was close because they didn't know you guys yet. They didn't know you were for real. And yeah. they also didn't know how well you guys probably knew Tom. When you're watching him and you're game planning, is there something new you learned about him? Like, is there something that he was doing that he didn't have the latitude to do offensively? That you're like, oh, Tom really wanted to do that the whole time. Like, what was it like watching a kind of a close friend play football on the other side? You know, it was like 20 years of history with Tom. Right. Um, I remember, you know, back in 2000 when he was the fourth string quarterback and I was just the coach's son running around the field. <laughs> uh, you know, that's when I used to actually have a catch with him on the sideline because no one else wanted to catch passes from the fourth string quarterback. Um, <laughs> that's pretty so we good. Would, we would hang out on the sideline and then, uh, obviously I wasn't there for a while, but then when I started running the scout teams and stuff like that, um, I used to always go ask him, you know, how's the look? Do you like this? And, and he would say, well, you know, they play their defensive scheme a little bit differently with all the film that he watched. So I kind of got to learn, learn about defense in a way from him based on what he saw on tape. Um, and then obviously all the stuff he did here was incredible. How smart he was, was was incredible. I'd say one thing too that going back to Ernie was, you know, a lot of quarterbacks nowadays they don't they don't signal out the protections, so they don't know who the free who the free rusher is, which would never happen with Tom. So if he would call the protection, he would know, you know, on paper who the who the blockers were responsible for, and then we didn't have this guy picked up, so he's you know kind of the the hot receiver, the sight adjust type of player. So, you know, his knowledge of that was good and. You know, I just felt like, you know, you had to be on it with Tom, like move on to the next play, but start thinking about the play after. So there was a balance with that. Um, you know, I got killed after that game. I became a gif and, you know, everybody loved to see that. Oh, the but kingpin just, thing, dude. What? Oh, yeah. The, the tongue thing? Oh, yeah. What What were you actually doing? Was this just a, like a nervous tick between plays? You were just like, fucking yeah, I, was luck. Just, I was just thinking a lot and trying to, you know, stay ahead of it. I, you know, I'll never forget after after the game, uh, my wife and, and Pat Chung, they were sitting together watching the game and they just kind of put their arm around me. Like it's going to be okay. Like, <laughs> what, what, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, just, just battle through it. You've been through worse, but battle through it. And I was just, I was just in it and all my friends loved it. They, they enjoyed that. <laughs> I loved it, dude. I was I like, yes, dude, this I is, I know you love this it, is yeah. great. This is great. I have no idea what he's doing, but this is great. That game was so fucking fun and I know everybody was like oh I hope they play again and all that stuff I just think it was so interesting to see Tom you know in a new spot and like learning as he went as the year went on like here's this genius guy that's been through 20 years of the ringer and yeah. he's still learning like because he's adapting to a new offense he's tinkering with things the way he would did you see that kind of growth through the year like the change like everybody else saw like were you as people were like, what's wrong with Tom early? Did you know what was going on? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I just kind of, you know, I'd say the, the pieces there on their offense are different than the pieces that I saw, Yeah. you know, Tom have here. I mean, he has 20 years where he has guys like Randy Moss, Wes Welker, Jules, obviously Gronk's down there too, but, you know, endless amount of skilled players that he was around uh, when he was in New England. And now he goes down to Tampa and, and the pieces were a little bit different, but I mean, Tom knows what he wants to do, I'm sure. And so he kind of adapted to, to what he had around him, which um, I wasn't surprised to see. I knew that I knew that he would make it right down well, there. He's smart enough. It was funny. Cause like, I always think of that as when you guys run into him on the field, it's like seeing an ex at like a dinner party with like mm -hmm. the new guy. And you're like, Oh, you're into that, huh? And then, and then like you realize that he has four players that are former New England guys on, on the team right now. And you're like, but you still kind of like me. 
<laughs> you know, like uh, he's still into he like there's still the bones of Tom's still like a patriot at heart. I bet the way he thinks, but it's just a different program, and I think it's cool. I think it's cool to see his personality. I think there's a big misconception up there that people aren't allowed to be who they are. I was always allowed to be who I was there, and yeah. for sure Tom could be whoever he wanted to be. I, I, I bet, but for whatever reason, the last year. He's just like exploded onto the scene with this brand. And I wonder how much of it is like, oh yeah, like I know I'm not gonna play another 10 years. I need to start like showing people who I am so I can go do these things that you're making the news for now, like making 37 mil to call games. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. If you need an anchor on there. Yeah, exactly. No, I can't wait to see, I've been saying I can't wait to see the production meetings. Like if oh, I, yeah. I wish I could be a fly on the wall in the production meetings when he comes back and does a Patriots game. I mean, the, that's gonna be so like mind bending to I see know. him in a gonna... suit in a hotel talking to your pops, you, Mayo, whoever it is in that room. Yeah, I know he'll probably be telling telling those players and coaches what what to do in the game rather than <laughs> <laughs> those guys telling him, "Hey, yeah. this is what we're gonna do." Listen to the full podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other podcast streaming platforms. Uh, wherever you want to get the podcast, you can get the podcast. It's pretty simple. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Podcasts get pretty wild. This is real tame.